Many die instructions will say to contact the shell holder to the die and then some fraction of turns plus or minus to set. You can also use case gauges to set the die, but here we're going to show how to set it to a particular rifle. Uh, I've got the firing pin tailstock removed and the ejector and spring removed, a clean rifle and a lubed case. Now the die is set to where it is not touching the shell holder, it is high. And so if I size it, the case, and try it in the firearm, go over the extractor. The bolt handle drops a little bit, but it's still not sized enough to close. Now this would generally take many, many steps, but I'm already really close on this one. So I'll go about another two thousandths deeper with the die. Pushing the shoulder back just a little bit. And now try the case in that one. It's about halfway closed, just perfect. So upon fully closing, now the case is compressed in the chamber. Doesn't have anywhere to grow. Not going to require a lot of trimming upon firing here. I'm proud of the Dillon case gauge still. And I'm proud of the Wilson as well, a little bit more. But that case is set just right for the rifle. That rifle. Now if I lower it down another two thousandths there. Actually that's a little bit over two, but size that one. <clears throat> now I try the case. All the way in there. It's, there's, there's clearance in the chamber now. It's not tight. At this point, now that's that's flush with the Dillon case gauge, and it's still proud of the Wilson. Now, if I were setting this ammunition, this die up for ammunition for a semi-automatic or something like that, I would set it for the tightest case gauge, just so I know it'll run and everything. But for this rifle, the bolt falling half closed is about ideal for case life. And that's it.